Mosquitoes, the bane of my life and probably yours too. Not only do they bite and cause a ton of itching, but they can also give you malaria. Malaria, a disease that has plagued the earth for many years, making people sick with high fevers, shaking, flu-like symptoms and possibly even death. Thankfully, only the female mosquito can carry the malaria parasite and not the male. This is the nicest thing that I have to say about mosquitoes. Why won't they just pack a bag and leave us all alone? Hey guys, welcome back. All right, today, somebody, one of you requested that I do a video talking about mosquitoes and I thought, what a brilliant idea, let's do that. I have done a similar video to this on my other channel, but that was quite a few years ago. So I thought actually it'd be really good to talk about it again for those of you maybe that have missed it or not subscribed to me at the time when I did the video. Um, so yeah, let's, 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 let's get into the video basically. All right, so if you know anything about me from watching the, my videos, you will know that I absolutely detest mosquitoes. I understand that all animals are part of the ecosystem and all of that, but honestly, I really do not understand what mosquitoes are for. They are the bane of my life. I absolutely hate it. Mosquitoes, I feel like mosquitoes kind of prevent me doing so many things. Well, okay, all right, I'm exaggerating. It doesn't prevent me from doing stuff. They just annoy me so much. So sometimes if it's really nice and warm outside and you wanna go outside at night time and just have a little walk around and all that, you can't because Mr. Mosquito is waiting to suck your blood. And it irritates me because I'm a kind of person, I like natural things, so I don't like to necessarily use a lot of processed mosquito creams and stuff like that because I feel like there's a reason that it has something in it which is not which mosquitoes don't like, and you're gonna put that on your skin, and obviously your skin is the biggest organ on your body, so I'm just very careful about things like that, so, you know, just gotta be careful with it. I mean, people have used them for years without a problem, and I'm not saying that they're wrong and that you shouldn't use them. For me, personally, I can only speak for myself, I don't particularly like them. Okay, so the point of today's video is, sorry, I found a gray hair earlier, all right? I'm hanging out of my head probably can't see it but it's right here so this side of the hair starts black and then it goes on and it turns to grey I don't know how clear that is for you guys to see but anyway it's there it's there sorry I was fascinated by it so I just put it down here I'll play with it later sorry sorry for the interruption but yeah anyway back to what I was saying right so the point of this video is to basically kind of like discuss when you're coming to Ghana the kind of protection that you should have um, when you're here because obviously coming from a climate where that is very very different to here especially if you have young children and stuff like that you want to protect yourself because it's not about getting malaria when you come here and I just have to say thank god none of us have ever had malaria in fact actually I suspect I had it once but I never did a test I don't know but Honestly, none of us have ever had malaria before. I'm very, very cautious um, about the children being out at a certain time and you know being protected and all of that. I just, I just feel like if you can avoid malaria, then you, you should. I mean, you should avoid all diseases. But you know what I'm saying. So when you come to, when you're coming to Ghana now, the doctor will always advise you. And I'm no doctor. Please, let me just put that disclaimer. Please, I am not a doctor. Okay, this is just my opinion as a lay person. This is my opinion okay so um, the doctors will recommend that you, when you're coming to Ghana you take a series of uh, malaria pills they have different types of the one they have the one that you take once a week and they have the ones that you take every day while you're here in Ghana now that's great for a point but obviously if you're coming and you intend to stay in Ghana for an extensive period of time or you know you're coming here to live there's no way that you can be on malaria tablets for that amount of time and honestly, when we were in the UK, I could not find a doctor that would tell me how long specifically you can take malaria tablets for without it kind of like becoming a problem or, you know, just if you can take it, you know, if there's like damage to taking it for so long, no doctor would ever give me the answer. I'm quite inquisitive and no doctor would tell me. So for me, that kind of really rang kind of alarm bells in my head. So what we did is when we first came to Ghana, we were on malaria tablets. I think we took them twice. <laughs> the, week, the weekly ones we were on. Um, and I had actually bought loads of them. I spent like 100 pounds or something on, on these tablets, bringing them to Ghana. 
and then my children were so young at the time I think at the time um, I only had three children my youngest was like a year and a half and trying to get him to swallow these tablets I tried everything he's only meant to take a quarter of a pill I tried crushing it in jam I tried putting it in amongst sugar I tried I tried I tried so many things he wasn't having a bar but the minute he tasted it he would spit it out and it felt so like oh this is so long I just thought you know forget it and then none of us just, none of us took it and I just thought you know what I'm just gonna just make sure the children are protected because I just feel like taking any kind of tablets for a long period of time every tablet has a side effect and I'd rather look for something natural and so it just didn't, it just, honestly, it just didn't sit well with me. So I didn't really want to do that. So what we did, and then we just stopped, we just stopped taking them. Um, I didn't actually tell anybody that we were going to stop taking them because you know how people can be. Sometimes when you say certain things, people are like, oh, that's so risky. And then they put an element of fear into you. And so there's certain things that I feel sometimes you have to just keep to yourself. It's just easier to keep to yourself because then you can handle it. And when you're all done as us, then you can tell everybody, oh, this is what I did, you know. So that's what I'm doing today. <laughs> All right. So um, if you are not a fan like me of taking pills or if you feel like that would like being here for a year or six months or whatever is too long to take pills for, you can always look at natural remedies. I am a great, I'm, I love natural remedies when it comes to things, when it comes to like um, medicinal medication type stuff. I always look at what, what natural I can take instead of taking the the kind of pharmaceutical side of things. So in Ghana, if you have ever heard of the neem tree, that is the one you need. It is disgusting, but honestly, if you ever find that you have malaria, if you wanna prevent malaria, you need to take neem. I've tried it before and quite honestly, guys, it was not a successful mission. I tried, honestly, that thing is bitter, literally, you can find the leaves around Ghana, like they're just there, they're just there in abundance. You just pick them, um, wash the leaves, and you can either boil it as a tea, you can crush it, you can, I'm sure you can even put it in your food, I don't know, I've not tried before. I'm sure you can even just put it in your food, in your stews and stuff like that, but you might, you might um, get rid of the nutrients if you cook it for too long, I'm not sure. But the neem tree is here, it's around. Um, you can do so much with it. Honestly, neem is fantastic because you can even, if you have the patience and if you're, if you're that kind of person, you can actually get the neem and you can actually, um, how do I say it? I'm saying, I'm saying how do I say it, as if I speak another language. Um, yeah, so basically you can get the neem and you can actually make it into a skin cream. You can add it to whatever mixture you do and you can just rub it on your skin because there's such a bitter thing about it and that is what mosquitoes like and I found that the, the, the creams that you buy from the shops that are meant to kind of like get rid of the mosquitoes, repel them, it's the same thing, they're very bitter, if you ever like put it on your tongue, they are very very bitter and those ones, um, the neem does exactly the same thing so I'm pretty sure, in fact one day I, might, I may actually try it just mix the neem with some cream and just rub it onto your skin. I'm sure it will do exactly the same, shop, the same job. So there are many ways that you can take neem. You could drink it, you could rub it on your skin. Um, whatever your imagination takes you basically, you can do with neem. Honestly speaking, for me personally, I would never take malaria tablets for too long. I've heard of people who have had side effects from taking it too long. Some people can become a bit delusional. And also, not just that, I've actually had a story story a friend of mine was telling me that she was actually on malaria she came to move to Ghana and she was here for some time and she was saying to me that she was taking malaria tablets for like an extended period of time and one day she actually got malaria and she didn't realize that it was malaria because she was on the tablets and she kept going to hospital saying look I'm not feeling well and honestly nothing was popping up they didn't they like they, they couldn't tell what it was they thought ah but she's on malaria pills or whatever they didn't realize eventually they realized that she did actually have malaria and it was progressively getting worse because obviously she wasn't treat she wasn't treating it and the thing about malaria when you get it is the first couple of days are really important so if you ever suspect you have malaria you need to go and get they have like a three-day test you need to get that test really quickly and do it because then you can treat it at home if you don't you'll find that it'll get to the point where you now um, you won't be able to consume liquids and stuff like that. You'll end up in hospital basically and it's a much bigger situation. So essentially that's what happened to her. Um, she ended up in hospital because what happened was the malaria pills that she was taking, the mal malaria tablets that she was taking were um, masking the symptoms of malaria. So every time she would go to the doctors and say, I'm not feeling well, blah, 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 blah people were like, ah, they, 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 they really didn't know. 
until they found out that actually she did have malaria but because of the pills that she was taking it just suppressed everything but obviously her body was still feeling it and for me I thought that was really quite scary because you know the, the, if you leave malaria for too long you'll find yourself in a really difficult situation I mean you can actually die from malaria so you don't want to be playing around with malaria okay but obviously if you don't like if you're not interested in drinking neem tea or you're not interested in putting it on your skin make sure you cover up it's so important you have to cover up for me personally once it gets to four o'clock i'm like nah 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 Mos mosquitoes are out mosquitoes can come out any time of the day let me just say they come out any time but you're more likely to get bitten anywhere after four o'clock so just be careful especially with children but children sometimes are okay, especially if they're outside and they're running and they're moving, they're less likely to get bitten. But if you're just going to sit outside, you are going to get bitten by mosquitoes at some point. Mosquitoes love dark colours as well. So if you're wearing black, just know that you are the target. You are the one that mosquito is coming for because you're wearing black. You're better off wearing lighter colours because mosquitoes don't really like to be around light colours. So they'll just kind of like fly off. But if you're wearing a dark colour, they're coming to give you a hug and it's as simple as that basically. So try and stay away from black if you know you're gonna be out very late at night. So another thing that you need to realize is that with, when it comes to mosquitoes, they love certain, they come out more in certain um, temperatures outside. So if it's very, if it's just rain, rainy season, they love rainy season because then they're able to like lay their, is it lava or eggs, whatever. They're, they're able to lay those, their eggs just practically anywhere because there's gonna be stagnant water all over the place and that is where they breed so avoid your house having stagnant water around unfortunately if you have a gutter outside your house you're going to be in big trouble because mosquitoes will always be there you cannot escape them so um yeah so if it's just rained a lot of mosquitoes come out after the rain um also mosquitoes do not like ac so if you're in a room and you have ac on Honestly, that mosquito is going hiding because they do not like it at all. I mean, it stands to reason as well because if you're coming from a cold, cold country, you hardly ever get mosquitoes there. It's only in the hotter climates like Africa where you tend to find a lot of mosquitoes and that is because they like the warmth. That's what keeps them going. So, like I say, just, you know, just be more aware. So when it's raining season, just be more aware of being outside and, you know, covering up when you need to. You know, you can also get clothes. You can actually get clothes that repel mosquitoes as well. So um, a little while ago, somebody actually bought me like, it's like a wrap and a hoodie. They bought me two things, like a wrap and a hoodie. So at night time, when I go out, I just put this hoodie on and I'm completely protected. It's really light as well. And I'm completely protected by mosquitoes. And you can wash it up to, I think 70 times before um, it loses its, its potency. So whenever I'm going out, I've always put my wrap or something like that with me. I just tuck it in my bag. It's really small to like fold up. So I just carry it with me if I know I'm going to be out late and I just put it around me and I just feel, I feel cool. I feel more relaxed because honestly, when I'm out and it's late and I'm aware of mosquitoes, I feel very uncomfortable. Like I'm like, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? I'm kind of like that kind of person because I hate mosquitoes so much. Um, not just the fact that they can give me malaria. The itching for me is the part that I cannot stand. I absolutely hate, I cannot abide being doing this, doing this, doing this. And the only time that you feel at peace is after you've bled and then it feels like, okay, now the itching has stopped. You don't wanna even do that. You don't even wanna go there. So don't do that. But when it comes to itching, one of the things that I found to be the most helpful to help with itching, what I do is I get a hairbrush, right? Because you know when you get that itching, it's almost like you don't care. You, you're, gonna, you're gonna scratch it. So what I do is I get a hairbrush and I very lightly just rub it until that kind of like intense itching stops. And then I get some mint oil and I put it on. And then after a few minutes, it just it just disappears, honestly. You may get the itching back like in a few hours or whatever, but the initial thing of having that itch there, just, it just cools it down. So if you're coming to Ghana, buy some mint oil. It really, really does help. That's the only thing for me that has really helped when I've got a mosquito bite. I use it on the children all the time, so we always have mint oil with us. You have to protect yourself because like I said, apart from getting malaria, no one likes to be itching. You're itching here, and you're itching there, and you're itching there. And you're itching there. <laughs> what kind of life is that? That, that? No, thank you. I just hate mosquitoes so much, guys, I'm sorry. I know this video has been a bit long. That's because I'm so passionate because I hate mosquitoes that much. 
If someone can tell me what mosquitoes are for or what they do, I would love to hear it, guys. I'm listening. Please hit me with it. I want to hear. I want to hear because for me, I feel like they're useless insects. I don't know. Is it? Yeah, useless insects. They're just what are they there for? But anyway, I'm going to stop right there because I am obviously enjoying talking right now to the camera and I'm just going to keep talking and talking and talking so I'm going to stop right now. I'm going to force myself to stop right there oh yeah and also what I like to do as well to prevent mosquitoes is to sometimes um, every few days we all leave the house and you just spray the house from top to bottom and just make sure all the windows, doors, everything is closed and so if there is anything in the house everything is killed also we put a, a mosquito coil which just slowly burns they normally last around I'd say probably about six hours they just they're, they're like in a coil shape like this and they just burn very slowly and leave one on the front doorsteps of the house so that when we come back and we're about to enter the house then kind of like not flying around the door because when they're flying around the door the minute you open it it enters so you have to be really careful so i always every day every day twice a day sometimes even three day times a day we have a coil burning outside the front of the house it just i just don't want no problems i just i don't play when it comes to mosquitoes at all and you shouldn't either Anyway, like I said, I'm going to stop talking now, guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If you have any questions for me, obviously drop them in the comment section below. Guys, if you haven't already subscribed, I'd really love it if you hit the subscribe button for me and hit the notification bell. Also, don't forget to do me a favor and like, comment, and share this video for me. I would really appreciate it. Until next time, I am out.